What's up everybody? Hopefully you've all seen my video on Skull of Impending Doom that covers how to get the item and provides some tips on using it effectively in PvP. Today's topic is the other incredible PvP offhand in vanilla, the Furbolg Medicine Pouch. This item provides you with an on-demand 1000 HP heal over time effect. It is off the global cooldown, and the hot will continue to tick even if you get stunned, CC'd, or use an ability like Ice Block. 1000 HP is an astounding amount of health in vanilla, especially early in the content timeline. During Molten Core and Blackwing Lair, most geared 60s will have an unbuffed health pool around 3500 to 4000, meaning Furbolg Medicine Pouch provides you with a self-heal for about 25-30% to 30 of your HP at this gear level. Once AQ and Nax are out, the item becomes a bit less powerful because it doesn't scale, but in the early days, Medicine Pouch is an absurdly overpowered tool in PvP. This item will take longer to obtain than Skull of Impending Doom because it requires a bit of a rep grind. You buy the Medicine Pouch from a vendor in the cave that connects Fellwood and Winterspring, but you'll need to be revered with Timber Maw Hold before it becomes available. The rep grind is pretty straightforward. There are Furbolg camps on both the Fellwood and Winterspring sides of the cave, and killing these mobs will be your main source of rep. Before you get started, be sure to pick up the quests from this guy right outside the Fellwood side of the cave. He'll give you a killing quest for the Fellwood mobs that provides you with a nice boost to your rep. He'll also give you a quest to travel through the cave and talk to Salfa. She will give you a second killing quest for the mobs on the Winterspring side. Once you've finished these quests, you'll continue to farm the same mobs. Eventually, you'll get a pair of item drops that also begin quests. Winterfall Ritual Totem on the Winterspring side, and Deadwood Ritual Totem on the Fellwood side. You'll need to raise your rep to neutral before you're able to hand these in, but they're a great source for easy rep. Once you've done these four quests, the rest of your rep will come from grinding mobs. From here on out, you'll want to stay on the Winterspring side because those mobs can drop Winterfall Ritual Beads, which can be turned into Salfa for extra rep. I recommend doing this grind along with a friend or two if you're not in an AoE class. It will take forever if you're single target farming. The good news is that you'll end up with a lot of Rune Cloth, some health and mana potions, and a few Winterfall Firewaters. Save the Firewaters for raids if you're melee, or sell them on the Auction House for a nice chunk of gold. Once you're revered, go buy your Medicine Pouch. Make sure you give it a comfortable keybind. Remember, Offhands like Skull of Impending Doom and Furbolg Medicine Pouch can be equipped or unequipped while in combat, but when you switch there will be a 30 second cooldown before you can use the item. I recommend creating a macro that will allow your Medicine Pouch keybind to double as your Skull Cancel keybind. I'll put the macro I use in the video description. Remember, you need to be able to cancel your Skull even if you are stunned. This macro will allow you to do that, and if you're not stunned it will also equip your Medicine Pouch. Once the 30 second cooldown is finished, pressing this same key will use your medicine pouch. Med Pouch is obviously strongest for casters and druid flag carriers. Warriors are the only class that rarely use Skull and Med Pouch in PvP because they need to have a two-hander equipped 99% of the time. Skull is incredible for rogues, but as a rogue you'll usually want to switch to your offhand weapon rather than Med Pouch when you cancel your Skull. The vast majority of your damage as a rogue in PvP comes from your main hand, but your offhand is important for getting crippling poison procs. Wearing Skull as a rogue is totally worth the trade-off since it allows you to completely change your playstyle. Med Pouch doesn't really change your playstyle the way Skull does, so it's usually not worth sacrificing the extra crippling procs from your offhand. As a rogue, you'll typically want to equip your normal offhand weapon when you cancel your Skull. Pretty much every class besides Warrior and Rogue should swap to Med Pouch after canceling a Skull. The item has 10 stamina, putting it on par with most caster PvP offhands in terms of defensive stats, and the self-heal is simply incredible in clutch situations. Keep in mind that the Medicine Pouch heal can be combined with a Rune Cloth Bandage or even abilities like Cannibalize. A Med Pouch and Bandage combo will heal you for a total of 3000 HP, which is between 70 and 80% of your HP at most gear levels. The Med Pouch heal is also perfect for surviving dots and bleeds that interrupt bandaging. It's also important to note that the Med Pouch heal over time effect can be dispelled by a Priest, Shaman, or Fellhunter Warlock pet. If one of these classes is in proximity, try to CC them before you pop your Med Pouch, or at least make sure you have enough pressure that they can't use globals dispelling you. Good luck with your rep grind, and have fun playing with this incredible item. See you guys next time.